Every day in Europe and the United States, 9 million people need help getting in and out of their beds. Sadly, this can result in injuries for the carers themselves. In the US, 11,000 nurses suffer patient lifting injuries each year, while in Britain, manual handling accidents account for 40% of all sick leave in the NHS. The cost of carer injuries is estimated at $20 billion annually in the US alone. With an ageing and increasingly obese population, these costs are set to rise. An urgent need exists for a device that allows a single carer to handle patients safely and efficiently. When you need to lift someone from a bed to another item of furniture, what equipment do you use? We would use a hoist, a mobile hoist. The major problems we have are space, environmental issues of moving the hoist around, accessing slings, infection control when using slings. We cannot use the same sling for every patient. Also getting the numbers of carers that are needed. It's a minimum of two carers. We would handle the patients between our areas a minimum of four times, but probably six times or more, which on a 20-bedded ward could be 120 times per day. When we are moving patients, we would be actually using a hoist to put them into a wheelchair or onto a commode, and then we would move that equipment. A mobile hoist is mobile to go to where you need it to lift a patient. But in my experience, we do not use a mobile hoist to move patients between areas. Can you describe the pros and cons of a seeding tract hoist system? More likely to be able to be used with one carer, so it has savings on staffing. It can be quite limiting in that if it's a short track, you can only go bed to chair, chair to bed. You don't have the scope to move the furniture. It has to be in a very fixed position to start with. Introducing LiftMate, a radical new approach to patient handling. It's been developed in consultation with experts from the UK's National Spinal Injury Centre at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. The needs of users were discussed with specialists there. My ideal handling device would be a device that would be for single carer use. It would be a piece of equipment that would retrieve the patient from the floor with ease and also a piece of equipment that would mean the carer has minimal moving and handling such as pushing and pulling of the device. My ideal patient handling device would be one that preserves the patient's dignity. I don't think any of the hoists at the moment on the market do that and also one that would free up my carers. At present a lot of my patients have to wait for two carers to be available to deal with them. So a device that would only use one carer would make prompt patient care and would utilise our time better. My ideal patient handling device would take into account the needs of the patient and the carer. We obviously want to keep the patient as safe and as comfortable as possible, but we do get a great number of injuries to staff from handling the device and with the patient who is resistant to being handled. In response to comments like these, the LiftMate designers began working on a device whose primary function was to enable a single carer to transfer a patient between two surfaces using minimal physical effort and that could also be used to transport patients between rooms in either a trolley or a wheelchair format. Key to solving these problems was a method that gently separated the patient from the surface of the supporting bed or chair. The solution was to let air do the work. LiftMate's unique feature is its everting sleeve. The patient is elevated by a set of inflating sleeves which unroll gently under their body. Because the sleeves actually unroll under the patient, there's no friction against the skin or clothing and no tendency to push the patient off the bed. The patient is actually lifted up by the air pressure, so the carer can then readily move the LiftMate forward under the patient. Each inflated sleeve envelopes a strong steel tube, so the patient is supported securely and gently. Because the LiftMate doesn't need patient cooperation, it can be used for comatose or immobile patients. And because it keeps the patient securely supported along their entire length, it's suitable for special cases, such as frail and spinal injury patients.
Restraints are used to hold the patient securely during transport. This also prevents a disabled patient falling forward in the wheelchair format and assists when collecting a patient from the floor. That's, That's very, very good. Hmm. And one handler. One, one handler can do it, yeah. The time saving will be with being able to transport them on this rather than going out of bed and into the wheelchair, then wheeling down the corridor and hmm. putting them back again. Within a hospital, I can't think of any area that we couldn't use it in. LiftMate is entirely self contained. The production version will carry a silent electric compressor on board to inflate the sleeves, and it's powered by a rechargeable battery. When not in use, it can be parked over an induction charging coil in the floor or plugged into a standard electrical socket. This first version of LiftMate is designed for hospitals and will open the door to much larger markets in residential, nursing and domestic home care environments. It's being developed to market ready stage by Personal Lifting Limited, which holds granted US and European patents. A working prototype exists that can collect and lift a patient in either lying or seated configuration. For further details, see www.personallifting.com.